Hey everyone, welcome back to Tour Reviews 51, review number 111. Sorry it's been a while, but i um, uh, been real busy finishing up, uh, actually coaching Little League Baseball, so just finished that up. and uh, So now I can get back to reviewing these figures. I uh, have quite a few that I selected out that I'm going to be doing uh, here in the next few weeks. Um, let's start off with this one, uh, just released. Uh, I'm doing this video day before Memorial Day, um, May 28th, 29th, something like that. Um, this is the, from Sideshow, this is the Batman uh, premium format exclusive. Uh, the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. I can't remember if this is the armored or the regular. I think it's the regular. We'll find out when we open it up. But it's limited, to, as you see there, to 500 pieces. This is number 378. So let's go ahead and get past the shipper here. Take a look at the artwork, at the artwork box inside. And then, uh, of course, get to the good part, which is the actual uh, figure. So let's go ahead and crack this open. Take a look, take a look at the uh, artwork box here. Okay, so just crack this open. Here's the artwork box. Uh, really cool. Uh, the lighting's kind of the lighting is reflecting off pretty bad. Um, but this is the Batman uh, Sideshow Collectibles, the Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice uh, Batman Premium Format figure. This is the exclusive version. So when we open it up, we'll see what the uh, exclusive is. I don't know if it's a head or which most of the time it is. So. There's the back of the box, just a good artwork of the uh, premium format that's in here. And the size is pretty basic with the bat, uh, Batman logo coming over the whole side of the box. So let's flip it over and take a look at the bottom of the box, see if it's uh, hand numbered and licensing so forth. Okay, so number 378 of 500 is hand numbered. Uh, and association here as you see with through DC Collectibles, DC Comics, and Warner Brothers Entertainment Inc. 2017 by Sideshow.com uh, Warner Brothers so uh, let's go ahead and check this out uh, go ahead and take this uh, premium format I'll put it together we'll take a good look at it uh, like this is just a brand new release I've had it on uh, Single payment. I seen my card get charged about two or three days ago, so I'll have this posted probably day after Memorial Day. So let's go ahead and take a look at this for review number 111. This is the uh, Batman from the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Uh, this is the exclusive of Batman. So let's check it out. Okay, so just crack this open. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is the base uh, right here in this uh, plastic. Um, right here is a hand, a uh, detachable hand with the batarang in it. Uh, the cape right here, uh, of course the body, which is uh, pretty much the meat of the statue right there. Uh, we have the, the uh, head for Batman, and then also right here I just seen it's a, uh, also a detachable hand. Um, I haven't looked at the bottom, so I haven't seen what really the exclusive uh, is on this. Um, so we'll find out pretty soon. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this uh, fully, and let's take a look at this statue and see what we think about it overall since it's a brand new release. I'm excited to uh, go ahead and get this uh, on uh, display and post this video. So let's go ahead and check it out fully assembled. Okay, so before I assemble this, I know I'm delaying. Uh, but this part is these actually this figure is really cool. Um, I like how they did the material right here on the body um, uh, But that's just a quick uh, little look at it there um, The exclusive part I figured out this is what comes on the basic just a fist um, for uh, Batman here um, and the exclusive is of course holding a battering so that's really cool. So that that's the exclusive part, limited to 500. I'm pretty sure uh, there's nothing else that can be. Um, here is the uh, head sculpture. So it's pretty cool. I mean, I like it a lot. Um, it's just really late at night. Um, and of course the uh, the cape here, which I'll put on. Um, let's take a quick look at the base. Uh, as you guys can see here, it's a rock base. Um, I'll go ahead and move it in the front here. 
Let me move. Uh, tell you what, let's take a look at the bottom of the base too. Because um, I really like looking at the bases on these. I uh, haven't done a video in a while, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this base better. Uh, that's I like what I like about Prime One. Uh, of course, this isn't Prime One, but that's what I'm going to be doing next on one of my next uh, two or three reviews. I'm doing the uh, Man of Steel uh, third scale, or actually the half scale um, from the Batman vs Superman, uh, the Henry Cavill Superman. So it's really badass. It's super like I think it's over 40 inches in height. Uh, so that's the next vi uh, video I'll be doing. The next video or two or three at most. Um, but uh, let's take a look at this base and then I'll f assemble f uh, this fully and take a look at it. But I really can tell this is going to come out to be a badass statue and a nice addition to the Batman collection. So let's take a look at this base better here. Okay, so on the bottom here, let me. As you guys can see, Batman, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, the sideshow. Uh, collectibles logo, hand number, number 378 of 500, uh, premium format, uh, Batman vs. Superman, Don Justice, or related characters, blah, 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 DC Comics 2017, Sideshow Inc., Sunday, California, so, let me put this up here. Okay, excuse the camera angle. And from the top, uh, that's of course where the peg is going to go in for the foot. Uh, the other will probably sit back in here somewhere. Uh, possibility over here, but I think it's going to sit over in here somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and fully assemble this with the exclusive hand. And I would think it's going to come out badass. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now. Okay, so here we have it. This actually turned out really badass. I like it. Um... It's really simple, but it's a badass premium format figure. It's not like shitty or like not. I mean, if it's out on the market still, I highly recommend picking it up. I'm a huge Batman fan. I mean, I'm a like am avid collector of anything Batman that comes out. Um, let's go ahead and take in a closer look at the face there. So I measured it. It's uh, about 22 inches in height. It's actually 21 and a half to be exact. Uh, I really like the uh, costume, as you see there. Good portrayal, almost perfect as uh, portrayed in Batman vs. Superman, which was a badass movie. Some people gave it, you know, didn't really think it was badass. I loved it personally, um, just like I did the Suicide Squad. But I guess I'm just a big, uh, bat, uh, you know, nerd for Batman. Uh, but uh, as you see here, it's just a sideway pose. Uh, from the front, he's looking to the side. The only problem I kind of have with it is the cape. Uh, to fit it in, it has a uh, hole in it where you uh, wrap it in underneath the uh, little uh, magnetic uh, part of the neck here that comes underneath. And it holds it, and it's got to work it pretty good to get it to you know snug, be snug and uh, tight down on the neck after you put the cape in. Um, but other than that, really cool. Um, as you can see, the fist on the left hand... In the uh, right hand, he's holding the Batarang. So cool touch there for the exclusive version. I believe in the um, basic version, it's just a fist as well, um, as, a, as the same as the left hand. Uh, we'll go ahead and spin it around, uh, have it on a spinner. So it's a cool little pose. I wrap the cape around him pretty well, as you can see there. The base is, I mean, it's a pretty basic base. I mean, there's nothing really to brag about on it, to be honest. Uh, but overall, I'm super happy with the figure. It runs about 500 bucks. So, uh, really cool addition to the Batman collection. So, that's where it'll go up in the Batman collection case. So, for review number 111, this is the Batman uh, premium format figure. Just released in May of 17. Or at least that's when I think it was released. I don't know, a single payment. So, I'm pretty sure it, was just, it just came out. For review number 111 on Toy Reviews 51. Um, I'll be back. Uh, I'm super excited about this figure. I'm just, it's really late at night, but I'll be doing a lot more reviews here in the, in the next day or two. So look for those to come out. Um, overall, if I had to give this from a ranking on a one to a 10, I would definitely give it like an eight and a half. Uh, it's a badass figure. Uh, do I think they could have put a little bit more detail in it? Definitely. I uh, would have loved to have seen like a better base, like with, you know, more of like a Batman versus Superman, like plate something like that or just something to give it that pop there 
that way you know it's from that movie and not like maybe from the Suicide Squad or just a basic, you know, Batman figure. But other than that, uh, since I do know where it's where it comes from and I don't know how to display it, uh, love it. Eight and a half, I would say, out of ten. So appreciate you guys watching. Review number 111, Torvis 51. Until next time, I'll catch you guys soon with some more premium formats and Prime 1 figures. Peace out.